Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we talked about what is partitioning. Then we saw like we can classify partitioning into two different categories. One is in-memory partition, the other one is physical partition. For in-memory partition, as I said, Spark itself identify like how many partitions will be required and how many partitions it can create. To decide the partitions, again Spark will look into two different uh, categories or two different things basically. The first thing is the size of cluster like the worker nodes we have and the second thing is like the Spark, right? The Spark configuration for this, like the number of partition or the size of partitions, right? So these two configurations define like how many partitions will be created based on the data frame. I would highly, highly recommend you guys to see the previous video if you wanted to have more clarity on it. Now in today's video, we will go ahead and we will check what is physical partitioning. Okay. So as the name specify, right, physical partitioning. Physical partitions, right. It means what Spark, what uh, Databricks does or Spark does is like if you have a table, right, where you have different type of cities, okay, I'm just giving you an example or the dates, let's suppose you have four records, okay. Now we have a uh, few columns, let's say the ID, the date, the city, okay. So in the date, I'll just say like it's November, again, November, November and December and in the city, I'll say A. B, C, C. Now, if I try to partition this data and try to store the data based on that partition, okay? So let's say I wanted to partition this data based on city name. What will happen is in our location, right? Whatever path we will give where we wanted to store the data and we wanted to partition it based on the city. In that folder, what it will do, it will create three different partitions, one for A city, one for B city and the other one is for C city and corresponding values will be go, will be uh, saved inside this particular partition, the one, B, two, three and four. So C partition will have two records, B partition will have one and the A partition will have one record. What if you partition based on the date, right? Not the city, let's suppose. So let's say you partition based on the date. Now what will happen in the folder? It will create two folders. One is for November and the second one is for December. And it will keep the data according to the partition. So if I do partition, like if the partition is November, obviously you will see three records inside it. A, B and C records, right? These three records will be in the first partition. And this last partition, like the four, or you can say C, right? This part, this record will be in the in the second partition. Now there are cases, right? You wanted to partition based on multiple columns. Let's say you are saying I wanted to partition based on date as well as based on city. So now you are partitioning based on the two different columns. So how data will be stored? Now in this case, the partition will happen firstly on the date basis. So you will have two folders inside your main folder. Okay, one is November, the second one is December. Inside November, again, since you have three records and you are saying the second partition will be based on the data. So inside November, again, you will have three partitions, three folders. One is A, B and C. Okay, and if I talk about December, again, it will have one more folder inside it. Okay, I wrote it here C, right? Yeah, so it will again have one fo more folder C. Okay, so now the folder hierarchy you can understand, right? One is number A, this is one folder hierarchy, the other one is number B, then number C, and then December C. So there will be four folders inside your uh, main folder, right? You can think of, I mean as a chain. Okay, inside number you will have three folders and inside December you will have one folder. So this is how the data will be physically divided and partitioned and stored at a storage location. Okay, now let's not waste much time and let, let's take a look with, like uh, in the uh, practical terms. Okay, 
so what i'll do uh, i will I, I have some files okay which is stored in the dbfs i'll quickly read those files okay let's read it now the data frame is created okay and if you remember i told you in the last video that how to check the in memory partition so this data frame is internally divided into some partition that is called in memory partition to check it we can use rdd get num partitions so by default eight partitions now if you remember i i would ask you like in this video how i am getting this eight value okay and uh, just for your information i will show you the cluster size also right and if you know like on what basis we decide this partition or the spark decide this partition just let me know i'll just show you the spark uh, cluster configuration for your reference okay now i have uh, two minimum workers and maximum workers 8 to 16 cores but here i can see eight partitions are there okay and again the default partition size is 128 mb as you know okay so this will be your question like on what basis spark decided to have eight in memory partitions now let's come back and let's talk about the physical partitions okay so to see physical partitions what i'll do i'll show you like the number of countries in this particular uh, in this particular data okay So as of now, or we can see we have 243 countries, distinct countries, okay, in this particular data. And just for your reference, I'll show you like how many records we have in this data frame, okay. And we will use AI for that, okay. So let's say I want to get print number of records present in the data frame. So start using this AI, right, to uh, speed up your, uh, what to say, throughput, okay. If you wanted to execute something very quickly or if you wanted to use the AI, you can use it, okay. So now I didn't wrote any code, the AI will automatically write code for me, okay. So I have these many number of records, out of which we have these many distinct country. Now I wanted to do a physical partitioning based on the country, okay. I have other columns as well, but most of the data is distinct. So if I try to create based on some other columns, we will have so many uh, partitions, okay. Anyways, we are going to create 440, 243 partitions, right. So now how we will create for 243 partitions as in physical partitions right so now here interviewer will be will try to confuse you okay they will write you like this they will write a program like this df dot uh, partition by partition by and he will simply write country let's say okay and he will ask you, will this execute or not, right? And you will think, right, okay, the function is correct. It will execute. But as soon as you will try to execute it, it will actually give you an error. Because this partition by doesn't support the data frame actually, okay? If you try to directly use this partition by based on a data frame, right? Directly on the data frame, it doesn't support. Always remember, okay? So, how to use partition by to physically partitioning the data? This is the function, okay? How to use it? So, this function can only be used with write command, okay? So, df dot write, right? Dot. Now, you can write partition by, see, partition by country. And then you can decide what in which format you wanted to write it, okay? So, let's say delta, okay? And where you wanted to save it. You can give the path wherever. So let me just copy one path. Okay. Okay. So inside table, I'll say example yt. Okay. Inside this, I wanted to have these many partitions created. Let's run it. Mm, something I missed. Okay. 
my bad see i missed this double quotes and it is showing me automatically so let's accept this change and run it okay now the second problem is if you see in the columns right i have some spaces i need to remove the spaces i already created one function to remove it let me just use this function directly you can also use this function to remove the special characters from your uh, data frame okay now before writing it what i'll do i'll execute this function df sorry yes df equal to fix column names and inside this i'll pass df it will again return me another df and now i can run on it okay so let's see how it's gonna run so now it will create these many partitions physically physically means and the location directly so let's go and check the catalog browse dbfs file store tail tables and this one we created right example u2 partition by country and there you go you see how many partitions got created and each partition will have some amount of data so this is how physical partitions work right when the data is physically stored right so this is called physical partitions i hope this is clear now let me know if you guys have any doubts uh, feel free to add in the comments i'll try to solve it okay thank you thanks